So if you have any questions, we'll try our best to answer them. Um, all right, so we'll open up the public forum. Uh, it's a chance for anybody that's not in the Senate to address the Senate with any comments, questions, concerns they have about anything. Uh, we'll start with Colin on top. Hi, everyone. I'm Colin Bleach. I'm here uh, as a representative of PATH, the Data Arts Project, Data Arts Project Campus. I'm starting to up a performing arts uh, festival on Davis Law in a couple of weeks. Uh, and just a little bit of budget. So if you have any questions about it, I'm here to answer or talk about the event. Thank you, Dom. If nothing else, just step up and introduce yourself with the club you're here representing. So, who's next? Dorn. Hi, uh, I'm Dorn. Uh, I do have a budget up for Unity, so if you're looking for that, I'm here if you have any questions. Shaq. Hi, I'm Shaq. Um, I'm here to be here. Um, any questions related to professional societies, you know who to ask. Sounds good. What's up? Chris Chu from SITTV and Redshift uh, Reallocation Request. Uh, Patrick, I'm here with the Computer Science Club. Uh, we have a bunch of requests in. And uh, if you have any questions for me, I guess just ask for your days. Uh, I'm Jason. Uh, I'm here for CS Club and SGC. SGC has a reallocation on two budgets. And yeah. 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 yeah, so any questions, uh, you can ask me or Kevin. Okay, so I'm Kevin. I'm Kevin. I'm with GameDev, but I can also answer questions about any of those three budget requests. Hi, I'm Jason. I'm, I'm here for the Chinese Student Association, and uh, if you have any questions about our budget reallocation request, then I can address them. Sounds great. Okay, um, moving to for somebody else. We'll move into reports. Uh, speaker, Mark said, sent to me uh, that the bylaw proposals for new oversight committee stuff will be on the docket for next week. He hopes. Uh, he's sorry he couldn't be here. Uh, not, not. Um, President, so I went over spring break and I heard out the dining proposals. So it was Sodexo and three early companies fighting for who's going to be our dining service person or company. Um, so there's a lot of good stuff. Um, if you hear people complaining about dining service, tell them to look out for changes in the next uh, year or so. So get excited for that. So there's a lot of good stuff proposed. So get excited for new good changes. Is this still uh, what am I? Uh, okay. We didn't actually make a decision. We just recommended to the committee what decision made. It is from Warden's cabinet makes the final decision. What did you? Well, what did you recommend? Uh, a company called Compass One. They're a large company that owns a lot of smaller companies. Okay, but it's um. Do you actually think that, like, if Sodexo were in Congress, if they follow through with any of the promises? That was a lot of discussion. I was supposed to keep everything confidential. Trina told me until they actually come out with a decision and what's actually going to come out. She told me to keep everything confidential. So I don't want to speak too much on it. I just want to let you now guys know that I was there and change will be coming to the Well, doesn't that kind of more purpose of your you going to the meeting if you can't tell us anything about it? Until the decision is made. Then how do we lie? If we don't like it, how do we, you know? Well, I'm your representative to give your input to what I was there for. President Chavez. I think whatever changes we want to make, we can relay that to Matt and then make sure that they uphold their contractual obligations to yes. follow the request. Um, moving on. What is it? Uh, nothing for Vice President. CCSI. Emily won't be here for this meeting or the next two meetings. She'll be calling into this meeting and stepping into the next two. Because uh, she's traveling, she's all over the place lately. Um, other than that, unified elections open today will remain open until next Sunday, March 29th. Um, she had some information about Accepted Students Weekend. Uh, it'll be Saturday, April 8th. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 
the Tuesday before break. Uh, Genevieve is working with IT to get our vending machines going with the school supplies. Uh, we came up with some locations such as Hayden Lounge, Jonas, the library, Richard, and uh, CAS. Um, so she's working with them. Um, we're also looking at the ice machines in the uh, residence halls to make sure they're working. Uh, and then tomorrow I'm meeting with Davis Zimmerman to talk about this. Uh, Constitution bylaws. So, um, SID, so we submitted one budget, uh, no, one Constitution um, SIE. Is that the week before the week? Yeah. Uh, I didn't make it that clear. Uh, okay, so we have one Constitution that um, probably, I guess, next week we'll, we'll be good to go for, which is SIE. Uh, other than that, we've received three new submissions for uh, Open Frisbee. Um, Women's club lacrosse and men's club volleyball, which is part of the uh, club talking about in club sports. And um, we'll be having a meeting this Wednesday at 6 p.m. as usual to discuss this. Uh, public relations. Um, so, at our last meeting, we discussed a couple of things. One of the things we're going to restart is the recap of the Senate meetings in the student. So, we're going to start after this meeting. So, yeah. Okay, speaker. Is it report, Jordan? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, okay. Uh, subcommittee reports. ESC. Well, planning for unity is well underway. Uh, I'm attached to my budget is the logo for the shirts and for the, and the flyer. So what we want to do is get some more advertising to pass up the big coats or make some stickers, things to hand out to people. And then also, we would like shirts to be part of the advertising, kind of like they did for Rage. So that's also budget. Uh, professional societies. Um, well, for five years, good. And they um, the report. Uh, media board. Pretty much no report besides look for Rich's budget today, but it looks pretty self explanatory, so I don't think I'll take questions. Special interests. Um, so event this week, on Saturday, SAVE is having the Earth Hour event in Jacoba's patio from 8 to 10. They're watching the city lights go out, I guess. Um, and other than that, uh, Emily talked about the new bylaw for the by elections, and everyone in the committee and subcommittee seem to like the idea. So. Cool. Club sports. Um, so I'm thrilled to hear that club sports are actually submitting their constitutions. And uh, I have a, um, another initiative that I'm looking to making a thing about renovating a room in Jacobus, but we'll see how that goes. More updates on that in the future. Arts and music. So this is a report, recreation. <laughs> We will move into old business. The recreation does have a report. Oh, right. oh, oh Reba. Reba sent me that. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Reba says, um, sorry for late but I don't think I'll make the meeting. Uh, report for recreation is that can. Uh, Cam's gunk strip is all worked out with Marisi and they are set up to go on the 25th. That was a controversy with John Marisi and Student Life, and that's all worked out now, so Cam's all set to go. That's her. Uh, we went to old business. Jeff. Also, welcome back. Oh, yeah, sorry, welcome back, guys. Yeah, I don't agree. Um, well, I meant you to go speak for position, but. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, also, sorry about no binders today. Uh, I couldn't get them in the free shot because I was away. So. Any adjustments to the minutes? Jeff. Second. All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? 
All those in favor of approving the minutes as they stand, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? The motion does pass. Moving into new business. Keep in mind we are on a low operating budget, so take priority of what you think needs priority. Tom. Motion to approve the SGDC additional funding request for secure storage AFR. Second. Okay. Discussion. Jeff. Yeah, I'll defer my time to the SGDC representatives. Um, so do you have a quick explanation on Oh, uh, we recently got two Oculus Rifts, um, and it's pretty sensitive equipment, so we just wanted to take better care of it than we currently can. Yeah, okay. I don't know how we talked about how so the CS department like, stole stuff out of Oh, it. yeah, we, we had a small <laughs> run-in with the CS department. Our closet is in their building, and they accidentally took some of our stuff uh, earlier in the semester. It took us a few days to get it back and was not enjoyable, so we don't want any mishaps to happen with the more expensive equipment. Okay. Good reason. <laughs> Jeff. It's $80. Move to the previous question. All those in favor, move to the previous question. Please say aye. Aye. Uh, all those opposed. All those in favor of approving but the additional funding question as it stands, please say aye. Aye. Uh, all those opposed. The motion does pass. Continuing in new business when I can find my notes. Colin. Motion to approve the SGDC additional funding request for Let's Make a Game. Sorry, I'm pulling these out as we go. There is the line <coughs> item. Come. So, is this a large event that happens every year? Because um, I know we do give out t-shirts now for some events, but my understanding was that it was for really, really big events that a lot of people went to. And seeing as we're on somewhat of a restricted budget, I'm leaning towards saying no for this one. Jeff, I defer to SGDC. Uh, so this is a new event, and the idea is um, game development seems like it should be a big part of our campus, but the holdback for a lot of people is they don't know any of the skills they need. And so this is supposed to be our new annual publicity event, where we invite the rest of campus to come give the ideas, and we'll sit there and make a game. And uh, we have Babio rented for the day. And it's basically, the idea is going to be people can come in and they'll say, oh, I think it should be a jazz song in the background, and then our musician's going to throw some stuff together, and then the programmer's going to come up. And so the idea is to get campus involved. We haven't done it in the past because we just thought of it this semester. Jordan. I know in the last semester, the semester before, we had a discussion about what we should do for the <coughs> in general. So I know in the past, it was like strict, just like no t-shirt policy, but we did give them for like Bogan and TechFest, and then there was always a debate whether it should charge for them or not what that was. Does anyone remember what the outcome of that conversation was? Did we change our guidelines or did we? Did we change it? Um, Angelo, we got to change it. Uh, we did not change our guidelines, but we are, we were going under the assumption that like, you're not just going to get a t-shirt for club members, because like how do you find a club member? You're just, but for larger events, such as both and stuff, like it would be okay, like if, if we saw a fit for, for the purpose of the event. Right. Jeff. Wait, how many t-shirts for this purchase? Uh, the estimate is 50, which is also the estimated attendance. Sean. Yeah, I mean, if we had more, if we had a bigger operating budget, I'd be cool with it, because it seems like a, like a good prize to get people, or like a good incentive to get people to come and um, see their, you know, see their ideas become a game. But, yeah. Genevieve. Is it a prize or an incentive? <coughs> like, what? It's an incentive. It's an incentive. Yeah. Right. It's given to all those who attend. Everybody yeah. Just because it, it says for participation prizes. Yeah. So, yeah. so I was going to say if you prizes, then we should like, cut it down for a prize. No, it's just an incentive. Which could form a good ways. That's your interpretation. Tom. Uh, to SGDC, do you guys have anything else budgeted for this event? We have uh, we had a two-day event that we had to put back until Monday due to scheduling issues. Right. So our reallocation is to have pizza and soda in this event. All right, cool. Other discussion, Jeff. All right. 
Um, I honestly, like, I think we should revise the t-shirt rules, but I don't think we should uh, approve this one just because, not because of the t-shirt rules, but just because we are at a, uh, we're have, you know, we have a strict budget requirement right now. We cannot afford to spend much money, especially because, as you said, we're like halfway through the semester, a little more than halfway through, more than halfway through, but we're, I don't uh, think that we should be spending that much money, sorry, but uh, uh, in the absence of any discussion, which previous. Okay, All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. <coughs> All those opposed. All those in favor of approving the additional form request as it stands, please say aye. All those opposed. Aye. Motion does fail. Okay, so. We've got a new business. see next year. I'm um, getting a lot of great ideas from them, so there's going to be a lot of changes coming over the summer, hopefully. Uh, it's also a chance to get the new Senate accustomed to our policies, our procedures, and how it's all going to work. Uh, so it's the general explanation. Yeah. So uh, if I'm remembering correctly, I think like one third of the Senate came to this last year during the summer. We just missed a quarter. Just missed a So I don't know. I think it's a lot of money for Sean. I mean, as productive as the summer retreat is, again, considering the budget situation, this is a lot of money that's spent on us. Um, as fun as like, as fun as all of the things are at the summer retreat, it right now it seems kind of excessive. And like, the retreat can still happen without a lot of these things. Jeff. Yeah, well, I was going to say, uh, especially like you, well, you said, um, excessive, I was going to say that, but um, besides that, and I'm probably going to have a good extreme here, but I don't think anyone in the Senate is really is corrupt, but if someone looking on the outside is looking in, we're basically, we're giving money to ourselves. And, I mean, why wouldn't we vote against it, basically? It's our it's, conference is a lot. It's our, well, our conference is a lot, but we are tied on cash, and we are giving it to ourselves instead of giving it to the club. Okay. Can we move to table this until we look at all the other budgets for the meeting? So, so we'll yeah. Yeah. All those in favor of tabling until the rest of the budgets are tabling until the end of the meeting. Alright. Uh, Please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? The motion does pass, so we'll look at that again later. Tom. Motion to approve the ESC additional funding request. One second. 
Okay, discussion on this. Jeff. Uh, well, with our current logic, that is like when we just applied to SGEC, t shirts, you know, even though this is Unity, an event that is big and annual, especially $1,300 for t shirts is very excessive, in my opinion, and therefore a motion to cut the t shirts to $0. So, all right, there's a second. Discussion on the motion to cut to zero. Sean. A uh, question for Darn. Um, you have the 13, I'm just deferring you. you the Darn. <laughs> so if you do read the description, there between the two of it, when someone says Unity, what they really mean is Unity Carnival and Unity Showcase. There's two events that, in general, we have between six and 700 people attend both events. Uh, and then the, I plan the t-shirts this year is to give out a certain number of PSG to each organization participating and sell the rest. So of the $1,300, a lot of that money will be going back to the SGA, uh, where parents always buy t-shirts, other students on campus always buy t-shirts. We usually sell them for about $5 a piece. So a lot of that money's coming back. And remember, this is a huge event on campus, one of the biggest events of the spring semester. You know, it does deserve a little bit, you know, extra consideration. Tom. I might be wrong, and I don't know if we have this reference budget, but last year I vaguely remember a loan request for $6,000 for t-shirts for Unity. And I think that included sweatshirts, too. If um, no sweatshirts, just t-shirts? All right, not $6,000. It wasn't six? Okay. I, that's why I wish we had the reference budget. But I remember it was a loan request for a fair amount of money for t-shirts. And uh, Unity is one thing that happens every year that's really big. And they do sell the t-shirts to give money. Jordan, is there any? Uh, I was just going to say if we should, uh, if we should approve X amount as a loan, just so we have the accountability to get back, and whatever Darwin has to get back. We would have to be recent, right? Um, you know, we did this before. There was no Okay, Jeff. Okay, I was going to say, can you do it with just a loan? And also, uh, if we loan $1,300, uh, it would come out of our budget, right, until it's paid back. Yes. Okay. So can you uh, can you uh, can you uh, make do with a $1,300 loan? So uh, if you read this, it kind of goes against what yeah. the plan is for the t-shirts this year. You know, we want to give out these t-shirts beforehand to the organizations so they can wear them on campus and you know create that much more hype about the event. Uh, being that we're such a small e-board, it's hard to get the word out, you know, like other organizations can. So we want to use our organizations and some of the other advertising money that we're asking for to get that hype out. So, you know, I would say that you'd probably get close to half of that money back. Sean. Um, so I think the question, the question I was going to ask was um, for Dar. So how much of this $1,300 is going towards giving it to the participating RSOs, and how much of it is going towards a loan so that you can sell the shirts at cost to, or whatever price? You probably end up giving about 70, 75 shirts out between the RSOs participating, and then the rest would be sold to students on campus and to parents and family members who attend the show. Great. Um, I just don't think the loan is the best idea like, let's say if best we get $800 back, it won't even happen until the end of April. You know, we don't really know what happens with the loan and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I do think if you think of probably the four biggest events, it's probably Tech Fest, Folk, and Founders Day and Unity. Um, so I definitely think t-shirts is a good idea regardless. Um, I just, I don't think that we figured out the whole loan process well enough to um, expect that back and expect it to Jeff. Okay. Um, like honestly, well, first of all, I think it would be hypocritical to approve these just because basically giving out t-shirts to one club, not the other, even though it's an event, that is big. We can't, you know, we can't give one club. We, we, we can't just give out t-shirts if you know, we don't. We don't have a you know policy solution to this yet. And but besides that, honestly, I don't think it would be a good idea to give out. You know, even half that. We just don't have the money. Amir, um, we do have the money, but 
Uh, we give out t-shirts for like Vulcan and uh, Tech Fest, and this, so I'm just saying this is like a, like a, like, what was it? A surf? No. Six to seven hundred dollars. So, uh, so no, 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 like what is it? It's like a carnival. A carnival, sorry. So it's like a carnival, so it goes along the same like, lines as like Vulcan or anything else. And again with the loan thing, like if we do give them $13,000 worth of loans, or a loan of $13,000, and they're only going to sell like, they're only going to make 700 something dollars back. Are they in debt? The rest of the money? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So sell the worst. Genevieve. I mean, I don't think it's a professional because none of us are going to be why at least I've said no to um, SGDC is because like we, from what um, Anglo was saying, like we give out the t-shirts based on like the size of the event, event and what it does to the school and everything. And I mean, Unity and Bogan and Tech Fest are all events that happen annually. We know the outcome, we know how big it is. Um, and I mean, this one event, it happened for the first time. So I don't think it's, fair to compare among the two. Um, as far as the loan goes, I don't really think it's the best case because um, we know, like we trust them, Unity's always been a good event from year to year. So I think just knowing that they'll give back like half or something, like whatever they can after the sales and everything, would be fine. You don't want to put them in debt, debt just for them over. Mm -hmm. Um, it's also like they're using it for a different purpose, like they're using it for advertisement, so I think that's important for uh, what he's trying to do. And so I was wondering like would it be possible to just cut it down to the 75 shirts for the, like the club, like for the purpose of advertisement and then just cut the other ones? Uh, I know that a lot of people on campus look forward to getting these shirts every year. There's a lot of people who have shirts for all four, all five years they're here. So if you guys don't, you know, approve this, we're gonna find a way to get the money. We, we, we have to get the shirts. A lot of people around campus are gonna be disappointed if there's no unit of shirts. Sarah. Can we split the amount in half and do one half as a loan? I don't know how that works. And then one half. We could. Jeff. Okay, I think that if we were perpetual, if we say that large events deserve to get shirts, but small events do not, we're perpetuating the big events and making sure they keep happening. But we're making uh, but we're making it substantially harder for small events to get bigger. So basically, you're handing out T-shirts to events that are already well known, and you're not giving out T-shirts to events that are also. What's our current running budget? Uh, we just approved how much? Eighty. Eighty. So about um, fifteen. About fifteen thousand. Yeah. Almost sixty. Yeah. Keep my around the motion to cut to zero, cut line and two to zero. Jordan, I think there's another big distinction that everyone's overlooking. One that we didn't just cut, or one that we did just cut for the Game Development Club, those are going to be incentives for people to come to an event. Whereas this is uh, t-shirts that are going to the members of the organizations before the event. So I think this is almost a slippery slope to just any club coming to us for events, for shirts, for every event that they will manually. And that we can't afford to do. So just want to be aware of that. Envelope. Uh, a couple things, just for clarification on how loans work. The money would, let's say whatever money we collect, will go back to the ESC account and get rolled over into the next semester's budget. So the SGA would not see that money this semester. 
Uh, so, but moving forward, kind of what Jordan said, uh, it's not for all the members, everyone participating. We're, you know, most of these organizations have 30 plus people participating in Unity. We're giving them five, six, seven shirts, you know, each just for advertising purposes, and we're selling the rest. It's not just, you know, these people put in a lot of work, countless hours. You know, it's a little bit. Of, it's not really a prize. It's you know, advertising for you know ESC. It's almost they're doing something else for us. Sean, uh, so I agree with Greg in that logistically, since Unity is later in the semester, uh, operating balance wise alone puts us at the same number as approving us as an additional funding request. Katie, um, I'd also like to point out that this was like the original. Thing. Basically, this is why we weren't. Uh, this is why we weren't approving T-shirts. But basically, you can wear it however you want. It's just that this. This is a, the exact reasoning we used to deny T-shirts in the past. We got we like. I think one thing we should take away from this, at the very least, is that we need to come up with a consistent policy for this. At the very much, regardless of what we say here. Genevieve. Um. What I. Going up with. He said before how just like the way what well, you're talking about whenever basically the what I think it was like the e-board and every club getting like five shirts or something. I just equate that to like tech fest if you are working the tables and everything you get a free shirt like and then the rest of them are being sold. So I'm thinking it kind of that way. Where whenever events are held, people who do like volunteer the time who are working for it, they're not made to pay. Like they're like how if we volunteer, we get free Founders Day ball tickets. Like I, that's how I'm thinking of him giving the shirt to the people. Colin, did you have a hand? Oh, I was just going to say, so the, the point was made that in the past, we don't give t-shirts to some clubs and don't give them to other clubs. Unity has gotten shirts many years in a row in the past. It's not like this is a, a first thing that they're coming to. It's not like they're not an established event. I don't know. It seems like a, a completely reasonable request for me, for almost a quarter of the school's population. I'd like to say that for the purposes of discussion, if you don't see anybody's minds changing, it's sometimes beneficial to just vote. Envelope. Sorry, I saw it first. Envelope. I was going to move to the previous question. Second, second. All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. Aye. All opposed. All those in favor of striking line in two in its entirety, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Nay. Nay. The motion fails. Move to the previous question. Second. All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Is it nay? Uh, we haven't spent more than five minutes on the budget as a whole, so. Okay. Hey. Um, so if we prove that it's just if we prove this, they're getting the money to like split it up themselves, like how much they go to yes. support. Okay, we don't want to differentiate that. We don't want to say you get this much, you get this much as well. Sarah. Yeah, I'd like to. I'm. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> to split line item two to a loan for half of that amount, and then. Just just approving the other half. Mr. Voluntarian, is that a motion? Can we do that? Well, two of the previous things. Splitting one into a loan and the other two. Move to split line into half as a loan and half as a regulator, as it stands. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, does that second? Second. 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 Turn on Rochelle. Yeah. 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 You're not restricted by the format of the budget. Okay. Great. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to bring up the point that we had, let's say, 500 shirts for both in. Um, there was people that you know ran the event and they wore it because they're proud of it. There's people that took one just walking by. Uh, maybe they wear it for the, maybe they wear it around Hoboken. People you know, ask about it. Um, pretty much wherever the shirt goes, it's always used. You know, people look at it, you know, they'll smile at it, they'll question it. So no matter what happens with the shirt, it's beneficial anyway. So um, speaking. 
back to what Dharm said about, like, so now if we have 700 whatever dollars for a loan, it's not going to get back until the end of the semester, and that $700 anyway is not going to really matter. Um, it just causes confusion and chaos, so um, my, I'm just going to want to do uh, that. Envelope. Dharm, how does that work? Uh, we're probably going to end up, you know, collecting six, seven hundred dollars in money. You know, this year we've cut back. We're trying to cut back on the number of T-shirts we're buying. Every year we get a loan out. We end up, you know, buying way too many shirts and having to find a way to pay it back. That's why the money's just so low this year. In the past, we spent over two thousand dollars on shirts, and even years before that, we've had sweatshirts on top of that. Uh, this year's just T-shirts, just this. I mean. I'm going to pay back the loan, but from where I stand, it makes zero difference as far as the SGA is concerned because, you know, from what I gather, your concern is the operating budget this year, and you're not going to see that $700 until the fall semester. Other discussion? Sarah. Well, I think it's good to just have the loans have some sort of, like, backing that we know will get it back. I trust that you will, Darn, but it's just, like, a way for us to know that we will definitely get that half back. And it concerns me because you mentioned that there will be outside people there, such as parents and family members and stuff. So just being fair and courteous to all students as to not give away shirts that aren't like, that they're paying for. You know what I mean? Things are not being given out to people who don't really see this. Katie Shelton. Second. All those in favor, move to the previous question, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? All those in favor of that weird striking motion, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. 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 I see hands. All in favor of splitting it in half and half and the loan in half? All opposed? And abstentions. Okay, the motion does pass. Jordan. Second. All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? All those in favor of approving the additional funding requests slash loan as it stands, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion is passed. Okay, keep in mind um, the, the budget that Colin mentioned, the Theta Alpha Phi budget, it was in time. And it should be on the docket, but I guess Emily can put it on, so I'll, I can just send that out to you and make sure you all have it. Um, but keep that in mind, that is on the docket. It should take just as much priority as anything else. Jeff. What's your heart of the SGDC reallocation request? Second. So we had to reschedule for the next week. Um, so we had to start at 9, so we picked up the room for 7. 
Um, so we couldn't actually cover everything. So this event is just to cover the things that we couldn't cover at the first event. Yeah. Sean. Sorry. Simple enough from the previous question. Second. All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? All those in favor of approving the additional funding request as it stands, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion does pass. Sean. Motion to approve the Theta Alpha Phi additional funding request. Aye. Aye. All right, it should be in your inboxes. Census and Williams. Here is the budget bill. They do not have a portal, so they couldn't submit it to the work site. Do you say GT had a funding request? Yes, but that wasn't enough time, so you don't have to. That wasn't enough time. Perfect. Discussion on this. I'll give you a second to read through it. Colin is here as a representative to answer any questions you might have. Jeff. Oh, it's just $500. I mean, it's just, not, not just $500. It's just business complaints, so I don't think it's, uh, there's that much discussion, but I'll defer to the, uh, you know, defer to representative. Colin, any words to speak on this? Sure. Um, so actually, what's interesting about this event is we're teaming up with a lot of different performing arts organizations. The idea is a lot of arts uh, require you to like, kind of come to them, whether you go to the theater or uh, or not. So we're trying to showcase the event by pulling them out onto a lawn and we're going to set up a, a small stage to really the bulk of the cost there. Uh, we're also setting it up so it can be uh, a Wednesday early afternoon with food. Um, since we're partnering, partnering with SDS, we're planning on having a similar style event. Um, they basically were like, we're happy to contribute the funds. Basically, this is a, a, a description of the event they were going to have, except they were going to do it like in Dakota. So the additional costs. It's just that we're moving it outside and making it more present on campus. Jeff. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the, um, with the logic that we should help clubs advertise to events like this. I think we should move this to the special event that has just been for the previous. Second. All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. Aye. Uh, all those opposed? Is there a nay? Okay. Uh, all those in favor of approving the initial funding request for TAC as it stands, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion does pass. Um, still in new business. Jeff. What was the motion to approve the CSA or allocation request? Is there a second? Second. Thank you. CSA, you said, right? No, I said C about CSA. What? CSA, Chinese. Yeah, yeah. 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 Discussion on the reallocation request. Is there something? Okay. All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. aye. All those opposed? All those in favor of approving the reallocation request as it stands, please say aye. aye. All those opposed? The motion does pass. Still in new business with the summer retreat on the table. Jen? Motion to approve the fast reallocation request. Second. Discussion on the reallocation. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? All those in favor of approving the reallocation request as it stands, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Still in new business. There's a lot of it. Colin. Motion to approve the SIC reallocation request. Second. Okay. $1,200. Session on the reallocation request. Ah. <coughs> uh. um, so would all of this $1,200 go to the new talent Because that seems like a lot of money for just new talent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I don't like the demo yet. Let's see my way. Jeff. 
So wait, do we uh, do we have a representative from the City Study Club here? Yeah. Darn. Um, I am clearly not in sick, but uh, I have attended Nutella Night in the past, and basically what happens is they just buy a lot of Nutella, and then they have like all the toppings, like fruit, you know, bananas, rice, raisins, whatever you want on your Nutella bread. There, it's like little wraps, crepes. So, twelve hundred dollars is a reasonable amount for what they're buying. Because a lot of it's Nutella, as you know, is very expensive. Fresh fruit is very expensive. So all the stuff they're buying is you know, kind of on the expensive event, but it all does work towards the event, and it's a very successful event that a lot of people attend. So to answer your question, they're not buying twelve hundred dollars worth of Nutella. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. You say Nutella, buddy. Nutella. One. Two. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, second, it's a real obligation. We already gave that money. Uh, it's not like we're losing that. So I, I think it's uh, it's a good event. They always kill it. Uh, all those in favor of moving, okay. all those in favor of moving the previous question, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed. All those in favor of approving the reallocation request, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed. You have to vote nay on moving to. Okay. The motion passes. Can I ask a general question? Then? Sure. Sure. Um, okay. So, what happens in the scenario where people budget for like small events and then reallocate all that money towards like a bigger, like you know, crazier event? Um, yeah, that's kind of on the financial committee and you guys as a Senate to be aware that you see 15 reallocation requests from the same club all going to the same event to recognize that and say, hey. I mean, this, this is even the time club, you know, I feel like, like what if they, uh, you know, budgeted for something reasonable and then gave them that money and then someone like on the says, hey, we're going to give them that money. So they use it for like, wood green I think that goes hand in hand. Colin, Colin. Sorry. Tom. I'm sorry. They, I'm pretty sure they've done the Night before. And I mean, they already, I don't know. It seems like this is only one reallocation event request from SIC. It's not like we're getting five all going towards Nutella or something else. I don't think we have to worry about that in this case. I'm kind of tempted to call this whole conversation out of scope because yeah. the motion already passed, so there's no need to discuss it. It's yeah. a terrible discussion, so we're say. Yeah, we're not in discussion, we're in new business. So, still in new business. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I just don't want to cloud up a little more work on new business. Sean. Motion to approve the SWE initial of one request, the one with the mocktails and formal panel. Come on, guys. Keep it together. Please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? All those in favor of approving the reallocation request as it stands, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? The motion does pass. John? Motion to approve the SWE allocation request for interview events and presentation and resume exercises. Okay. Jay Dykes. Yes. Discussion on the, this reallocation request. Yeah. I would just like to ask basically uh, exactly what was just mentioned. I mean, it's not like this is necessarily a bad thing. I just want to point out this is what was brought up. With the, uh, you know, it's not like uh, when he was bringing up the SRE uh, additional, he wasn't he wasn't meaning that SDS anyone was bad. He's just bringing up that the that reallocation requests could be used in you know in some way to get around the budgeting guidelines. This is I don't think this is. For example, but you could certainly say that you know they're taking they are taking money from several different places and putting it in one event, which is not necessarily a wrong thing. I just want to point out that it's what you know it's what could be a problem. Tom, uh, I'm going to retract my statement. John, 
So I am slightly confused because for the first suite reallocation request, it says they want to reallocate from $250 for the, for the interview event with Tata, but it says that on both of them. So are they allocating the same money from two? Colin looks like he's got a big old answer over there. So I do, and um, basically on the first one, they make it more clear on where all the money's coming from, and I, I took a good look at this over spring break to try and figure it out myself. So it looks like they had two events, the etiquette, business etiquette dinner, which had $300 left over, and then the Tata Communications event, which was originally allocated $300, but now they don't have to buy food because someone else is providing it, so they want to take $250 away from that event. That gives them a total of $550 to reallocate to other events. The other one, which we just approved, was for $400 for the mocktails and whatever else, and this is the remaining $150 to the resume exercises. They did a really bad job of outlining it, but that's what they're looking at, as far as I can understand. That's a just plain beautiful glorification. Thank you, Alan. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Move to the previous. Second. All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? All those in favor of approving the reallocation request as it stands, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? The motion does pass. Moving on to new business. Jen. Motion to approve the redshift reallocation request. Second. Sorry it's taking me a while holding up that screen ended up. Is that the redshift one? Yes. Okay. $50. All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. aye. All those opposed? All those in favor of approving the reallocation request as it stands, please say aye. aye. All those opposed? The motion does pass. Continuing in new business. Now we have, uh, Do we just have the SGA left or do we have another one? Sean, can you send out the gear and yeah. trying to spirit week plug? Yes, sir. Thank you. Just keep in mind that was not on time, so we have no obligation. Actually, Jeff, do you want to come in and out? Jeff. So I guess while we're waiting for that, uh, motion to untable, well, remove from the table, I don't think untable is a word, the uh, SGA summer retreat fund request. There's no discussion on this, sorry. All those in favor of removing from the table the SGA additional fund request, please say aye. Uh, all opposed? <laughs> Nay. Okay, the motion does pass. Sean. Um, so, question for the speaker. So, what's up with summer budgets? Um, basically, the billing structure, this is an important conversation for later, the billing structure that you all see is going to be changing, um, which is going to have some impacts on the SAF that we receive and the operating budget we have as a whole. Um, there's a lot of talking points behind this board here. Um, but the only point that was relevant for that discussion was that we're not going to necessarily be doing some of the still discussion uh, that we're having, but it's um, Christy is of the opinion that we don't need summer budgets necessarily. So that's an idea that's been tossed around, is not to have summer budgets. It's not definite yet, not set in stone, but that's the idea that's been tossed around. So I didn't want you guys like tabling into the summer and there not being the opportunity to have that. Okay. Sorry if that was unclear. Yeah. So they're going to cut the amount that you have to pay in order to live here on campus in the summer, is what this essentially comes down to, because you have to pay an SAF budget to live here. <coughs> Through your door. No, it's usually classes. It's classes too. Yeah. Yes, but if you're not taking classes, you still have to pay it. I'm pretty sure. That's another clarification we've been trying to get from Christy. I'm not entirely sure who does and does not get paid or uh, get billed for the SAF. Because um, it hasn't been entirely clear in the past. Pat was charged when he was in California and on co op. Yeah, he's charged on co op. Co op, sorry, get charged. 
So we're, that's something we asked her, and we've been waiting for an answer from. She has a meeting. I think she had one last week with the uh, chief financial officer. So uh, we'll, can we get that clarification tomorrow on exactly who's going to be charged in? Because we have a meeting with Kristen tomorrow. So sorry, I don't have a better answer. That's no, fine. I just want to see the tuition rate go down. Jordan. Sure. When, from the cabinet's perspective, when would you guys need this 25 to start planning for summer tree? Could we push it off a little bit? We could. Um, I wanted to get it in ASAP because I know we're very low on funds, so I didn't want to get it there and consider. But you could table this until next week or the week after. There's no necessary rush. Jenny? Um, do these amounts fluctuate with how many people can go and not go? Because, I mean, if Yes. If there's um, a way for us to like RSVP or something within the next, however, because it, so I budgeted for 30 people because there were normally at least five people can't make it. Or no, I'm sorry, because we don't consider the senior senators. Um, so that is the current budget I put out. Jen. The retreat has always had binders. Oh, okay. um, I just kind of took a lot of that off by doing that for the second It's just a print of binders. If there's anything I would suggest cutting, it's like a Friday night event and dinner and things like that. You can all pay for those out of pocket if need be. But it's up to you guys. George, you have to Kind of refresh my memory. Is there usually events on a Friday night as well? Like, that's not like an actual like, Senate business discussed. Or is it just like the gathering? It's just the gathering that we went, last year went to that comedy show, and this is where we went to the Haunted House. The Haunted House thing that was so I that <laughs> Kevin. Uh, is there any reason why the Friday night dinner is a lot more expensive than, say, Saturday night? We could, uh, that was just taken from historical. We usually go out somewhere in the city okay. for our event. I think we have a dinner on the other out somewhere. Uh, whereas Saturday night dinner is more bringing in food than what it's actually like. Okay. Again, there's nothing set in stone. I haven't like definitively planned anything. Yeah. This is just I'm giving it to you guys whatever budget I get, I'll work with kind of thing. So, Jeff. Just as a whole, this is more than a fifth of our current budget. It's almost uh, it's almost a quarter, I think. But it's very much. Um, I don't think we should be taking this much money out of the budget to give to ourselves when the budget is when we're so low on funds. When this money, this money in my opinion, should be going to the clubs instead of us basically patting ourselves on the back. Keep in mind we are we are an RSL. We are an RSL, but I mean, uh, I agree with Jeff to an extent. I think we should just hold off <coughs> taking this towards like the end of the semester, you know, see how much we have left. You know, nobody uses it towards the end of the semester, we give it to ourselves and we Jen. With consideration to like larger budgets that might be approaching, like do we figure out what we were doing with the newspaper? Like do we not give them the full amount and say for the summer, but if we don't have the summer budget, we have to take care of it now. For the length you mean? Oh or, yeah. For the yearbook, right? We yeah. the yearbook is all set. It's or, if, or the newspaper. Like the newspaper was also all set. Okay, we okay. like took care of like large budget. Things. Yes, those two things are all taken care of. Okay. Which is not for the point of back to later. Um, for the sake of kind of hearing out what everyone just said, I motion to cut the Friday night events temporarily, let's say until we see how much money we have moving forward, and then keep it to the important more business oriented events on Saturday and Sunday. Which would be just the first one. Yeah. It's like half the budget. Let me pull up the actual budget. Is there a second on that? Second. So the motion is to cut. Um, Friday night event. So, one item two, in its entirety. Also, I did some part of number one, too. Oh, so the food as well? Yeah, the food as well. Um, so that would be. Um, <laughs> I should have itemized this better, sorry. Okay, well, striking $1,050 from line item one and $900 from line item two is the motion. Discussion on that motion. Yes. We did point out that we are so, but we, the SGA exists to help the clubs. I think <coughs> we should do that before helping ourselves. Even though we are a club, but 
we should help the clubs before we help ourselves. And all I think we should, you know, if we have the money left over, I think we should do it. But I think if other clubs have, you know, other and perhaps better uses of this, you know, maybe we should maybe wait a little bit. I think we should table it instead of uh, working on cutting line on right now. Um, yeah. I was under the impression that like this weekend as a whole, uh, there was a lot of skills that senators need to make some more accurate calls <laughs> and meetings and such, uh, which therefore helps uh, all the clubs on campus is for the ones who are promoting the budgets and such. So I'm okay with us uh, having a weekend where we all become better at what we do, basically. <coughs> Envelopes on your premises mandated from bylaws that we have each summer to drink. What? Just say. No, it's funny, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I have to, I have to, have to say, say, like, go out on Friday and have a great time, but, like, we have to have a retreat. Colin, you guys have to have fun. Um, on top of that, this is, unless I'm missing something, like, the only thing we do for the entire year, it's the only funding we ever ask for or receive. <coughs> Let's try to keep discussion focused on the motion to cut the rows three and four. Great. Yeah, um, half of the retreat that I thought um, you know, was beneficial was getting to talk about all the bylaws and all that stuff. The other part was that a lot of us, we kind of just come here and we just know each other by you know, sitting where we're sitting. We don't know really anything else about each other. Um, I felt that the Friday night mostly because it's just about getting to know each other, but the whole weekend as a whole, you just got to know people a lot, you know, you could talk to them outside of SGA, um, and then if we know each other, we can work better with each other and therefore make better decisions, not spending three years on everything. Um, so it's a lot about, you know, bonding with each other as well as as it is um, you know, talking about the important issues. I saw another hand up here. Sean? I was going to say that, um, with further retreat, a lot of the things in that budget are crucial to having the retreat, having a productive retreat. The Friday night fun is re as, as much fun as it is, and we all get to like bond and hang out. It's a lot of money, and it's really it's not technically essential to having the retreat. Kevin, so right now the motion is to remove most, most if not all the Friday night. It's all of the money. All the, okay. So, uh, okay. All those in favor of moving to the previous question, please say aye. Aye. All opposed. All those in favor of striking rows two and three, because that's something for now. Um, from this, please say aye. Three or three and four, sorry, Aye. Aye. The dinner, the dinner and the event. So, reset, not many. Is everybody clear on what we're cutting? Rows three and four on the Excel sheet. Yes, rows three and four on the Excel sheet, sorry. The dinner and the event. All those in favor of cutting it, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Can I see hands? All in favor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are allowed seven. All opposed? <laughs> All abstentions? The motion does fail. Discussion on this budget as a whole. Um, one thing I now realize and I forgot to budget for um, is rooms and Jacobus for those who don't won't be staying on campus. Uh, rooms and Jones. Oh, sorry, Jones. Oh rooms and Jones for those who won't be staying on campus. That's ninety dollars a person. I think last year was like nine people in the room. So <coughs> keep that in mind. That'll be an additional for request, I suppose. Uh, I'm going. Um, I I see the need and like you know it's kind of money. It can be excessive. Um, thirty-five dollars is a lot for dinner. I know I don't really usually eat thirty-five dollars for the dinner. Um, motion to cut that to twenty dollars per whatever that number is. Second. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Discussion on motion to cut it to twenty dollars per person. Which so cuts it to six hundred. Say again. Cuts it to six hundred. All right. Cutting line item. <laughs> Cutting rule three, that's uh, $20 a person to six hundred dollars Discussion on that motion. Sarah. I'm going to go broader than this motion here. I'm sorry. It's going to include this, but this is very excessive for 30 people, guys. And we're at a very, uh, we're at a point where we don't have a lot of money left. 
we just cut t-shirts to an event that six to seven hundred people go to if you want to spend 30 or 20 dollars per person at a dinner for 30 people which is us um, which is not relevant to anything that you need to get done at this conference so i think if you guys want to be an informed senate that the student population likes and supports i would say try to maybe give up a little bit of the fun for yourselves in this weekend this is coming from someone who's not going to be there so it's really up to you guys. That's my opinion. Also, keep in mind that we could pay for that in any other dinner out of pocket. Right. Um, as I remember, <coughs> I thought we only had 17 or 18 people, too. Um, so that would cut everything down a little bit. Um, it is at the end of the semester, too. So I mean, it's, I just don't think that we need to be doing the $20, $25 thing right now. Um, and I think we could. It. I mean, I, we don't need to like nitpick everything right now. It's all going to be good in a month. So, I mean, um, yeah. Um, Anyone else? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So let me run through this really briefly. I'd like your attention because this is going to be big. It's going to affect everyone on campus, so you should all be very well informed about it. Um, so first thing, consolidation. Um, part of the reason that the administration feels they should do this, and this is straight from the chief financial officer, this isn't from Dean or Christian or anybody like that. This is straight from the top. Um, is essentially all our other comparable institutions. When you look at your bill, you see tuition, you see housing, you see one or two other fees. We see 15. So you see every lab fee, you see everything. Including miscellaneous fees. Including miscellaneous fees. So what they're going to do uh, in the future is that will be consolidated down. All those accessible, those intricate little fees will be consolidated down to one fee that you'll just see as, I don't know what they would call it, a student fee kind of thing. And that'll go, that'll be your SAF, that'll be uh, a couple other things included in that as well. Um, so they're going to consolidate all that. And that's the change that we're going to, that's the start of the change that we're going to see. Um, so, oh, and what's important about that is when you consolidate, uh, it's not, right now we're very front heavy, front heavy and back heavy. So you pay your technology fees very highly, you pay your laptop, uh, your orient your, you pay for orientation uh, your freshman year, you pay for graduation your senior year. So instead of doing that, you're, you're going to pay your graduation over your entire time here, you're going to pay your orientation over your entire time here, it's spreading it out. So you're paying consistently, this fee is going to be the same every semester. So you won't be very front heavy and back heavy like we usually are. Everything will be spread out over your entire time. Questions already? Kevin. Okay. Uh, well, like, um, what if you <coughs> transferred and didn't graduate here? And so you paid for graduation, but you don't graduate. That is a point that was brought up by the cabinet. I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> uh, it's kind of happening in the uh, Amir. I'm sorry, Rand. I, actually, could, I, could you guys do me a favor and write down your questions and let me just get through the general description of everything and then I'll take all your questions afterwards. And also the last point is Student Life is ready and willing to come to the next meeting and talk about this deeper. Um, I just wanted to pitch this to you guys and get your mind moving out first. So I'll have them come, by the time of it already, I'll have them come to the next time meeting and talk about it with us. Yes? Yes? All right, so taking on consolidation. Um, part of the impact on the operating budget of the SGA is our rollover in recent semesters, which is not entirely our fault, but it's not exactly seen that way from the CFO's perspective. Um, we do have a lot of rollover. We had almost $100,000 in rollover this semester, which partially was us saving money and partially was the clubs not spending their money. And there's nothing we can do about that necessarily other than police them, which we don't want to do. Um, so that's part of the reason this is all happening. Um, the SAF, however, will be $200 per semester Every semester that you're here, um, again, I'm going to get clarification who we're asking for. I'm going to get clarification on who's getting billed and when tomorrow. So I'll have Christy come prepared with that answer. Um, and that includes summers, too. If you're in the summer, you will be paying $200 in the summer. Um, again, another concern that was brought up by the cabinet to Christy many a time um, why that's the hinky and almost unreasonable to have you pay $200 in the summer, especially if we're not considering doing summer programming. Um, but that was a concern that was brought up, and again, the same answer is this is from higher up. It's just kind of the way it's going to be. Um, again, try to save your questions. If they're like, if they're really important, just wave it down. But try to save your questions and write them down, remember? Um, okay. Next point, coming off the top. Certain things are going to come off the top, so the SGA will not have to deal with them anymore. This is a good point, so you can know, smile a little bit. Um, we, will not be, we will not be approving the bowling alley, we will not be approving club sports. These are things that are going to happen no matter what the institution, what the SGA says. Like the SGA can't go and club, cut club sports. The, the administration will say no, kind of thing. So these things are one of the things we have to worry about. We won't have to budget for uh, bowling alley maintenance and upkeep. We won't have to budget for club sports uh, and other things like that. Uh, also, the OSL programming will come off the top. Duck sink will come off the top. We won't ever see that money come in, so we won't have to spend it going out, kind of thing. So it'll make our, job, our lives a little bit easier in that sense. So those line items won't be line items anymore. Everybody else will just be approved. And when I say off the top, I mean the whole SAF is coming in. The student life's going to take these off the top and then give us our operating budget. That's kind of how that's going to work. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still coming from the Well, just for those line items, just for the whole But <laughs> moving on. Um, Another good point about this um, is that student life will be hiring, hiring a new uh, employee up there. This person's chief responsibility is going to be working 
one-on-one -on -one with the organizations and clubs, helping them budget, helping the SGI understand why they're budgeting a certain, certain way. Um, so we won't miss $36,000 charges like the like. We won't miss those anymore because there will be a person in student life who is solely responsible for understanding what the club, clubs need to budget for and when. Um, they're also going to be moving money around. Right now, Christy and Chris are very overwhelmed with the amount of financial back end that they have to do, uh, and it prevents them from being able to do their, the other aspects of their job well. So this person would be um, would be a huge help in that sense. Also, Christy threw in the job description and our request that the person is very, because uh, she saw it at Montclair, they have the person who's similar to this role is very uh, good at org sync and things like that. So whenever we decide what exactly we want org sync to be, whether it's just an organizational tool, whether it's a social media kind of tool, or a club, place where clubs interact, the person will be, be very malleable and we can tell them what we want and they'll be able to do it very well. Um, the downside to the new also, employee, and this is again a point from cabinet stress, little impact um, is that it will come out of the SAF. Um, so take that into account. Again, hold your questions until after the next meeting. Um, so, uh, after the next time meeting, Christy comes in and talks to all of you about this. We'll, the cabinet's going to go through a long process of figuring exactly how this is going to impact the operating budget. We're going to come out with a lot of new guidelines. There's going to be a lot of standing discussion. Much like the meeting that will be taking place to discuss the new subcommittee guidelines, we'll have a very similar thing. We'll get as many senators as want to attend in a room, and we'll all sit down and say, okay, how is this affecting us? What guidelines are we going to put in place? What rules are we going to adjust um, for how this is going to affect us uh, individually? Is it really important to know? It's just a general question. Like, are we wasting our time like saying, like, hey, we don't like this? Like, are they going to like, listen, or is this, you know? Down. So moving on. Uh, <laughs> Um, so like I said, Christy and Chris are available and ready to come to the second meeting if need be. Um, so I'll have them come next week. Alright, questions and I'll answer them as best I can, but if I can't answer them, just say, I don't want to give you a wrong answer, so if I can't answer it, I'm just going to say no and save it for next week to ask directly to Christy, Chris, or me, whoever shows up. So Jenny, first. Um, for the new OSL employee, um, what kind of guidelines do you is there any possible way, or do you see any need for them to come to our budgeting meeting that we have, like once a semester? Like, can we make that a requirement that, that they have to be there? Absolutely. Yeah. That, that's, I think, the best thing that comes out of this is this person's going to be a huge help for us and for the clubs individually. Um, and we can, they're very valuable as far as come to the budgeting meeting, help us budget. Them. So hopefully, they'll field a lot of the clarification questions that we have. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Um, and I'm just that. Um, did they consider that maybe $200 for a summer semester when not that many things are going on would be super excessive? Yes. Um, I think they are more in the mindset that we need to be consistent. Every semester you're getting charged the same amount. That's the logic. <laughs> it doesn't seem to bring that, that up to Christine and Christine. Please. They'll have a more definitive answer, I hope. Um, Jeff. Okay, well, A, probably don't show the so they can charge away. Oh, Sorry, I just want to ask that as well. Say that. But, um, well, I'd like to point out that if, like, just the whole Senate, if you feel, you know, anything, just write it down and ask Chris, because this is, like, the one chance we get to, you know, like, make an impact of some kind, even if, you know, even if it's not what we want it to be, we can do something. But, other than that, isn't this new employee going to create a, um, a kind of adversarial relationship? Adversarial relationship? Because basically, if, if their, um, if his or her salary is coming out of the SAF, that means if they get a raise in their salary, we, uh, we get less money. So then we would be, you know, we would be <coughs> paying them less, which obviously is not in that employee's best interest. And that means it would be in that employee's best interest to you know, basically fight the SGA. Myself and Mark had a long sit down with Chrissy about this when we voiced all these concerns. We said exactly what you're saying now, that there's no resistance coming out of the SAF. Chrissy and Chrissy's salary is going to come out of the SAF. Um, and we got a lot of good feedback from Chrissy, but I don't want to speak for her. I'd rather her come and explain that to you guys exactly what the logic is behind it. Um, so I'm sorry I can't give you more of that answer, but I'd rather her come in and say, speak her mind. Colin. 
So, as club sports subcommittee head, how does this affect me? Are club sports still RSOs? Should be determined. Um, Should be determined. <laughs> that's an interesting right. question, and that's something that we would work out in the meeting. Um, and then, on, on top of that, um, so I know we were discussing like the redundancy between club sports and then clubs that are RSOs but not club sports, but the same. Uh, it's the same sport like sailing and archery. I think um, that can be a separate. I know it's talking about. I think, I think that can yeah. be a separate initiative. What he's talking about is the idea of saying to all the recreational RSOs that have an equivalent club sport, making them not RSOs any, anymore, and saying you have this club sport out there, you can uh, you can utilize that to express your interest in that sport. Kind and of thing. then we and would then shift their funding that would be lost over to the club sport, so that way they sports. could preserve themselves. Um, but if club sports are just coming off the top, sure, that's, that's something to we. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely that. bring up to Christy Kimmer and then ask him to bring it up. I talked to Dean about it too, so. Yeah. That uh, so that'll be more of how it's going to affect us. That'll be. Sean. Um, when student life comes or before they come, it might be kind of useful to see how this affects our operating budget as a whole. So just look at at least general projections because if we start coming into semesters and suddenly the amount like the amounts change that's going to shaft a lot of RSOs like if we're, if we're losing money from our budget regardless of whether we have the same amount of money less money or more money it's going to look different is the main thing that we have to figure out exactly right. how it so it's going to be good to see like, how different it's going to be especially because we're going to have a lot more money in the summer so how do we divide that between the two semesters and the right. summer or whatever some budgets we have so these are all things that will happen in that meeting we sit down and say, how is this affecting us? What can we do to adjust for it? Um, I'm going to pull up, okay. to follow up as the last on the list. Okay. Um, so is this going to be starting next semester? Yes. And then would they alter the Grandfathering is a huge question that we didn't have to ask. Yeah. That's a great question, and I'll bring that up to Christy so she's prepared for it. Um, Greg was next. Uh, yeah, just real quick calculation. Uh, dropping it by $45 a person is about $126,000 less each semester. Um, I forgot my second point. Um, okay. Uh, Genevieve. Um, for the two hundred dollars, first of all, is there a charge for intercession or no? Like you're, if you're studying for intercession, is there a charge? No. no. And then for the summer, there is it like because there are two summer, summer sessions, sessions, so it's per summer session. No, it would be two hundred dollars for the summer. Okay. So if you participate in one summer session, you still are paying two hundred dollars. Yeah, good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, write that down. Ask Christy when she comes because I don't know the answer to that either. Uh, Jordan and Sarah. Well, I have several concern piece, but I really just think we should hold it for when our uh, yeah. yeah. student might come. So I'm sorry I can't give you guys more definitive answers. I just want to speak on their behalf and say something here. Okay. Um, so before we before we break then, do you guys want to? I think it would be beneficial for us and for student life if we sat down this week and again as many senators would like to attend and kind of organize all our concerns, rather than just us being mad and upset with them. Um, so I'll send out a doodle, I guess, for this, sometime this week where we can all sit down, organize our concerns on to bring to Christy, and maybe this weekend. Um, cool with everyone? Second. Anna. I might even make it Saturday or Sunday. Uh, okay. If I just thought it would be, if this goes into effect, um, I believe we would need to make a constitutional amendment in order to continue operation of the Senate. So, conflicting for the Yes. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but just in terms of like, just all of us on the same page. Is it possible to make like a Google Doc or something yeah. for all of us that are questions in like on one place? Absolutely. So we don't have to table with like all the same questions. Can you? Can you? Yeah. We'll put that together and I'll send it all out to you.
Uh, Sarah was next. Guys, please don't back up here. We're still talking about something that we are allowed to be like talking about outside of the Senate. Should we be telling other students about this? Like, as and then it comes to Senate meetings, they're considered. Good question. Um, it was brought up to us a while ago, and we were told not to bring it to you guys yet for that reason. But we were given permission to bring it up to you, which I assume would be permission to bring it up to when you see fit. But I would recommend that until we talk to Chrissy and get our points answered, you keep it within us. Because I don't want us saying, like, oh, they're doing this, this, and this, and that changes. So wait until we get our questions answered, and then we can bring it to you when you see fit. Uh, on the yeah, I also think it's super important that, like, when we all meet whatever side like, we, we kind of come to a consensus of, like, solid, like, three to five points instead of, like, 20 questions because it's going to make them flat and ask them to be all over the place. But if we can be, like, hard hitting with, like, a few solid points, that's going to be way more effective than doing 20 questions. Yeah, and that's that's the biggest thing. Kevin did this, too, two weeks ago when we got the news. A month ago when we got the news, and we sat down for three, four hours and got our thoughts together. So it's the professional way to do this is to have our thoughts clear so we're not just coming in and yelling at Kirsty or Kirsty. It shows like the United um, So we will keep it professional, definitely. Uh, and I'm working. Oh, no. so I don't know if you want to edit this part of the conversation out. <laughs> Great point. <laughs> uh, we'll talk to Chris about fiddling with anything I've heard. I'm not uh, sure. Darn, did you have a point? I'm sorry. You had a priority. You had a hand up. Uh, I did. I know uh, no, it's right now, like, people who graduate and they get either get into master's or other degrees have to pay multiple graduation fees. So that's something that should be brought up as well because most people don't plan on that when they come in. So One of those people directly affected is your speaker of the Senate. So that was definitely brought up and we were brought up again when <laughs> Christy or Chris Any other points before we break? I'll set that meeting, I'll set a doodle, and I'll send it out. Be responsive to your surveys this week, guys. I really need you to be. Between the summer retreat date um, and attendance to that, be responsive. Jeff. Uh, okay, I think, well, we can keep asking questions, but honestly, you're not going to be able to say yes. So that's not your fault. So let's just motion to close and come back. Clear your mind. All those in favor of closing the meeting, please say aye. Aye. Opposed. Thank you guys for your time. Appreciate it.